Hello, this is Max, the friendship of a top secret robot dog who has befriended a human and will do anything to protect his new companion. Don't forget to subscribe. The film opens with the introduction of Axel, a highly advanced robotic dog designed by scientists and for military use. As tensions rise over control of the project, the military seeks immediate possession, recognizing its potential for both protection and misuse. Meanwhile, we are introduced to Miles Hill, a competitive biker caught in a predicament when his bike chain breaks during a race. Stranded and in need of assistance, he receives unexpected help from Sarah, who provides him with a replacement chain. With Sarah's help, Miles manages to fix his bike and ultimately emerges victorious in the race. After the race, Miles is approached by a boy named Sam while he's sitting in his car with Sarah. Sam invites Miles to a party at his place that night, mentioning that Sarah will be there too. Despite initial reluctance, Miles agrees to attend, assuming Sarah's presence as a reason to go. At the party, Miles and Sarah engage in conversation, getting to know each other better. Meanwhile, at the lab where Axel is housed, and Rick discovers that the advanced robotic dog has escaped. With the military demanding custody of Axel within two days, Anrik faces pressure to retrieve the dog at any cost. In the midst of this, Sam convinces Miles to participate in a motorcycle race up the hill, promising to film the event. Miles, eager to prove himself and attracted by the prospect of gaining recognition, agrees to join. During the race, Sam sabotages Miles' bike by spilling a soft rink on it, causing it to malfunction and resulting in Miles losing the race. When Miles crashes, Sam callously leaves him stranded in the remote mountains. As Miles attempts to repair his bike, he hears noises from a nearby container and investigates, discovering Axel, the robotic dog. However, Miles soon realizes that Axel is not a friendly companion but a dangerous machine, and he finds himself being pursued by the relentless robot. As Miles tries to evade the robotic dog on his bike, he realizes that the dog is matching his every move with precision. Despite Miles' best efforts to outmaneuver the dog, it continues to keep pace with him. However, during one particularly risky stunt, the dog takes a tumble, causing it to stop pursuing Miles. Concerned for the seemingly injured animal, Miles dismounts his bike and approaches the dog to assess its condition. Upon closer inspection, Miles discovers that the dog is not a living creature, but a sophisticated robot. Its body is pierced by a steel rod, and its internal wiring is exposed and damaged. Realizing the true nature of the dog, Miles understands that it is a robotic creation. Despite the situation, he still wants to assist. The dog, Axel, has red eyes when a rod is inserted, signifying his distress or aggression. However, when Miles removes the rod, Axel's eyes shift to green, indicating his calmness. This change sparks a connection between Miles and Axel, triggered by the robot's owner's pairing technology. Axel quickly begins to trust Miles and instantly pairs with him recognizing Miles as his new master. With this bond, Axel is now prepared to go to great lengths to protect Miles, even if it means confronting his creator should the need arise. Miles and Axel soon start to play together, forming a rapid attachment. Meanwhile, the creator of this robotic dog, Enric, monitors everything through his computer. The dog is equipped with cameras in its eyes that feed directly to Enric's system, allowing him to observe the interactions. And Rick is pleased to see his creation bonding with a human, validating his belief that the dog can safely interact with people, a point of contention with the military. Simultaneously, we see Sarah, who is unhappy with Sam, suggesting personal tensions in the background, recognizing her as a friend. Sarah is initially frightened, but misters the courage to touch Axel's face, allowing the dog's system to scan and identify her. This action helps to establish trust, and Axel's demeanor shifts towards acceptance of Sarah under Miles' reassurance. Miles explains to Sarah that Axel is programmed to protect him and can be overly defensive without proper introductions. He calms both Sarah and Axel, facilitating a new understanding between them. Sarah, who harbors feelings for Miles and is deeply concerned about his safety, is relieved to see him unharmed and to reconcile with Axel. This moment strengthens the bond between the three as they start to form a more cohesive unit. Navigating the complexities of their relationships and the protective instincts of a robotic dog. As their adventure continues, Sarah, Miles, and the robotic dog enjoy a playful and lighthearted evening together. Deciding to spend the night outdoors, they share moments of joy, dancing together while the dog enhances the atmosphere by playing music for them. 
The following day, the trio sets off on the road, with the dog accompanying them in the car. At a gas station, they encounter a dilemma when Miles realizes he doesn't have any money to refuel. Demonstrating his advanced capabilities, the dog quickly hacks a nearby ADM, providing Miles with thousands of dollars. Both Sarah and Miles are exhilarated by the dog's unexpected but useful skills. Their journey continues back home, and it is then that the dog reveals another aspect of his design. Utilizing laser technology installed within him, he shows Sarah and Miles his true form. This revelation leads them to understand that the dog is not just a companion, but has been engineered as a sophisticated weapon, likely intended for military use. This realization brings a new layer of complexity to their relationship with the robotic dog, as they grapple with the implications of harboring such advanced technology. Assures his assistant that the dog is designed to subdue but not to kill, attempting to calm his fears about the situation escalating to a fatal outcome. Meanwhile, back at the scene, the confrontation intensifies. Sarah watches as Sam, fueled by jealousy over her attention to Miles, initiates a fight. Miles, showing quick reflexes, dodges Sam's punch, but before Sam can launch another attack, the robotic dog intervenes. The dog, demonstrating its protective programming, swiftly takes Sam down by pinning him to the ground with a paw on his chest, causing Sam to be overwhelmed by fear. This action, while defensive, highlights the dog's capability and purpose as a guardian to Miles and his friends. Observing from their monitors, Anrick and his assistant continue to watch the situation unfold with heightened concern. The assistants worry about the potential for severe harm and underscores the complexities of deploying advanced robotic technology in everyday situations. Even as Enric remains confident in the safeguards built into the dog's programming, Sam gets out of there. Sarah becomes anxious as she discloses that Sam is extremely wealthy and her mother works for his family. She fears that her mother might lose her job. Miles then visits his father and explains everything about the dog. His father immediately advises him to return the dog to its rightful owner. However, Miles is reluctant to follow his father's advice and feels quite confused. Meanwhile, Sam, feeling furious and humiliated by the earlier events, gathers his friends and heads to the place where Miles is keeping the dog. Sam pours petrol around the dog and sets it on fire. Just as the dog is about to be burned, Sam shares a live video with Sarah, who quickly informs Miles about the situation. Miles arrives to find the dog severely damaged by the fire, a sight that fills him with despair. However, just as he begins to lose hope, his phone alerts him with the possibility of repairing the robotic companion. The notification not only offers hope but also guides him to a specific location equipped for such repairs. Miles and Sarah, determined to save their mechanical friend, quickly transport the dog to the provided location. There, they discover a well-equipped facility capable of handling the complex repairs needed. They work together to fix the physical damages the dog has suffered. Once the physical repairs are completed, they initiate the system reboot, only to learn that this process will require a considerable amount of time two and a half hours. During this waiting period, Miles and Sarah must contend with the emotional and practical implications of what has transpired. They reflect on the recent trials, anticipate the dog's recovery, and prepare for any further challenges that might arise from those who wish to harm or exploit the technology they now possess, seeking to regain full command over the robotic dog. Meanwhile, a man sent by Enric arrives at Chick's house and demands to know where the device that controls Axel is located. Chuck becomes suspicious, outmaneuvering the man and demanding answers himself. The man admits he is searching for Axel, while at the lab, waiting for the system to reboot. Military personnel sent by Enric arrive and quickly spot the dog. Miles, now attached to Axel, doesn't want to lose him, so he distracts the military men to buy time for the reboot. He hopes that once Axel reactivates, he will attack the intruders, giving them a chance to escape. The dog reactivates, his system engaging, and he starts attacking everyone. The final target in his system is Sam, armed with a flamethrower, and Axel seeks revenge. Thinking Sam is the enemy, Axel escapes to confront him. Miles and Sarah try to follow but can't keep up. Axel reaches Sam, who unsuccessfully tries to fend off the dog with his flamethrower. When the fuel runs out, Sam is defenseless. Just as Axel is about to attack, Miles steps in, and the dog, recognizing him as a friend, halts. Miles calms Axel, reassuring him that he is a good dog and shouldn't harm people. Axel relaxes, but then a swarm of drones sent by Enric surrounds them aiming to control Axel and bring him back. Miles and Sarah are captured and taken to Crane Systems. 
Enric tries to override Miles's control of Axel but fails. He then interrogates Miles about the remote, but Miles refuses to disclose its location. Enric programs Axel to attack Sarah and takes the dog back to the lab to erase his memory. Sarah approaches Axel, but he doesn't recognize her due to the memory wipe. She remembers creating a hologram for Axel and replicates it. Seeing the hologram, Axel recalls his past and recognizes Sarah as a friend. He realizes Enric has been tampering with his memory and intends to experiment on him. Enraged, Axel breaks free and attacks Enric, who narrowly escapes. Meanwhile, the military arrives and arrests Enric for creating a dog that tried to kill a human. Sarah is also arrested but reveals she did it to give Miles time to escape with Axel. As they flee, Axel creates a bridge for a stunt, evading the soldiers. They continue running, pursued by military helicopters, until Miles falls from his motorbike. He orders Axel to run. Axel obeys, self-destructing while uploading their shared memories to the internet. Before completing the sequence, Axel looks at Miles' image one last time, saying, Yo, send it. Miles is then subdued by the military. Six weeks later, Enric is imprisoned for national security violations and endangering civilians. Weber visits him, revealing that Axel's code has resurfaced and asking about its activity. Sarah and Miles attend college with military-provided scholarships, intended to buy their silence and keep them under surveillance. While at the beach with a new puppy, Sarah gives Miles an envelope. Inside is a note from his dad saying, This is yours. The envelope also contains Axel's remote. Miles asks Sarah if he should press it. The remote uploads an Axel app to their phones, indicating Axel has survived and is trying to return to them. The movie ends on this note. If you are interested in such films, please proceed to the next video on the screen and also share your thoughts about this film in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. Goodbye.